Today we will talk about photogrammetry because I like the topic, I love it. I did it the last uh, five years with Epic Games and the Quixel and it is the future of um, the not for everything but for quite a lot and um, if you are new to 3D art for games or if you're working on your, a on your own game as a game dev, This can save you a lot of time and you don't need to invest like 5,000 euros up front for some fancy cool camera gear and then you can't use it because you have no idea what you're doing. You just need your smartphone. I did a whole video about that. I will link it at the end of this video. It's just um, a breakdown on how to get started with your phone like for free. The apps are free. Let me show you real quick why I can talk about that stuff. So um, I'm Philip, I'm the Triangle Forge. Right now I'm kind of artist, kind of consultant for studios, helping studios get into photogrammetry. So if you are a studio, feel free to reach out. I show you the future, basically. And um, yeah, so I scan foliage. That's kind of a different setup, uh, but not really uh, super, super fancy to do. And obviously, scanning your foliage, your leaves, your barks, your trees, your ferns is the best result you can get because that stuff is based on real data laying on the ground and getting captured by my camera. Here is my Epic Games collection. Obviously, that's not all. The most famous one. I saw that in a few productions already, my card, uh, cardboard boxes. This was so much fun to make. You just... Um, get some old Amazon boxes, remove the labeling, torn them up, or not even Amazon boxes, like stuff I had laying, laying around, removed everything, so no branding, um, slapped some blue tape on it, and then punched the shit out of the boxes. Um, yeah, the shots are not the best, uh, really, they're really sharp, so, some over sharpening going on there. But yeah, that's some of the stuff. It's basically an endless scroll from Quixel, then uh, some of my scans, um, obviously the jerry can is my favorite, and the barbecue grill is uh, also pretty good. Basically, these images are already showing why, even if that's uh, like a really fucked up edge here, but um, these images are already showing the potential of this technique. And by the way, even if I'm doing that stuff for, I don't know, a few years now, five, six, seven years, I never invested like 10k euros for some fancy gear. Some of these shots are done with my phone. The magic lies in basically creating a good texture and uh, know how to shoot the images. Uh, yeah, my favorite, the jerry can. I really love that. And by the way, good luck. Uh, have a great time doing all of that detail by hand. You can't replicate this kind of wear and tear, uh, wear and tear on, on a texture. Obviously, you can do the dent and all of that stuff, but there are so many little details you can't capture when um, doing this by hand in ZBrush, Substance Painter, whatever you are using to uh, basically creating the texture. And let me scroll down a little bit more, then uh, I'm done with bragging. So these are mobile scans, um, or this one here is a mobile scan. That's done on a Google Pixel 7. I have no idea how much that is. Um, You know what? Let me look it up real quick. Google Pixel 7. Let's say we buy it new from Google. So that one is 490 euros. So not really expensive for a phone. And um, yeah, these are just captured with my phone and one through, I think, Reality Capture or Metashape. I can't really remember. It's been a few years. And the level of detail you get with these new phones you have today you have l laying beside you maybe you're just looking at it because you can't focus so stop focus video important all of that stuff is done with the phone and you don't need fancy gear for that the magic is basically in using the phone to its best to, to its best advantage don't use the in phone camera app get like um, some some third party app like open camera and stuff like that and you can see some of these shots um, are pretty nice i i love this rust stuff falling apart and yeah mobile scan um that's not a mobile scan that's like 
that's a mobile scan. That was done with the phone too, this huge tree. And yeah, so that's why I can talk about that. That's why I can teach studios that stuff. And um, let me hop bit back to Figma real quick. So I called it how to get started with photogrammetry because most of the time people heard the term, they have a rough idea what it is, but they have no idea how to get started. And it's basically the same as I did in one of the videos before, like how to get started as a 3D artist. Don't make it too complicated. In these days, ask ChatGPT or Claude AI or I don't know, some, some AI stuff and it will give you a roadmap. People overcomplicate stuff. And it's not really that complicated. So how to get started with photogrammetry? Let's first break down what the advantages, advantages are. Obviously the realism. You can't replicate that stuff by hand. You can, and um, I'm pretty sure you can reach roughly the same level, but if you're working in a big studio environment, um, that's not really feasible for the studio. You would cost too much money for the studio to to have this model. It, it, it wouldn't make sense to have it. So obviously you can create or uh, assets with this kind of level. If we switch back um, this tree in, let's say from the scan to the final model or high poly model, maybe in two hours and you can't do that by hand in two hours. Nobody can this. So uh, that stuff is way faster and way more detailed. So speed and efficiency basically goes hand in hand with realism. Um, yeah, like I said, the speed is incredible years ago, like five, five or six years ago, the software, um, wasn't that fast, but with the latest reality capture updates, um, or meta shape or whatever you want to use software got re really quick. So the algorithms behind the software got really powerful and saved a lot of time. And now you basically, if you have a decent wig, if you have like your mom's HP laptop, Obviously that won't work. Um, I'm not talking about like a 10,000 euro PC, let's say like a 2,000, 3,000 uh, euro PC. I mean, you can even use it with a less powerful machine, but then it takes a little bit longer. However, the speed and efficiency is still pretty good compared to doing everything by hand. Obviously enhanced portfolios. Um, there are not so many photogrammetry artists around at the moment. It still is kind of a new workflow. Um, like I said, people know about it, but they don't really look into it and um, have no idea if it's a good fit for the studio or for the artist. Um, so if you like to play around, play around with hardware and you like um, photogrammetry or um, taking pictures in general, that could be a good position for you to start out as a photogrammetry artist. And obviously with that, if you are into stuff like that, like taking photos and, and the technical skills behind that, how to take the photo, the wide aperture, the wide lens, the angles you're shooting at, you can gain technical skills nobody else has and you are setting yourself apart from every other random artist on the internet and on art station. So you can stand out a lot more. And obviously the industry relevance, um, it, it's getting more, um, looked after. So people are more looking into that whole stuff because, um, they see the benefit in saving time and like for studios time is money. So if you don't need like five days for a high poly and a low poly, but you only need like two days, and you get a better result in terms of geo and in team uh, in terms of geometry and in terms of um, texture obviously it makes sense to invest some money into this whole workflow let's talk about real quick on how to get started so if you want to get started just go on my channel and then we have some video here 3d scan anything it's basically um, a short overview on how you can use your phone on how to get started with photogrammetry because you don't really need much more. The cameras are good enough to take good enough images that the software can use it. So I never had any struggle with reality capture or meta shape. 
saying basically, ah, your, your images are shit. Uh, I can't recognize what's on the image. Obviously, if you are on Android, get an open camera. If you are on iOS, uh, I don't know what camera software they have. So basically, you want an unlock camera that you can um, shoot in WAR format. I know the Google phones can do that on their own. Um, I think the Apple devices too. But just to be on the safe side, get an unlock camera app like an um, open camera for, for Android. And th then you could just start with taking pictures. However, if you want to make it even easier and you don't have the super beefy machine and both apps are available on iOS, so I'm just showing it on the, on the Google Play Store now, you just head over to the Play Store and look for um, Reality Scan which is reality capture, so the photogrammetry software, but for your phone. And that one is really helpful for beginners because I hope they included that in the marketing material. They don't. But when you scan an object, you get a real-time view on which angle you already captured. And the app is showing you with colors, like here it's saying uh, AR Guidance. The app is showing you where to get more pictures and where the overlap is good enough. That's really helpful for beginners. And um, you can capture the object and upload it to, this, uh, to the reality scan servers and from there export it to SketchUp. And from SketchUp you could download it and um, throw it into Unreal Engine. And another good app is Polycam. I think Polycam is a little bit more advanced. It is free, but the free app is kind of limited. Uh, basically the same approach. You can capture the, um, the asset you want in the app and then you can just edit it, delete stuff and um, also export a lot of different um, meshes, point clouds and texture formats and also throw it into uh, Unreal Engine if you want. However, the best result is still running everything through reality capture on your local machine because reality capture um, on your phone has like a, um, a triangle limit because it's running on servers and uh, obviously that makes sense. So if you can run the local versions, you will get way better results. And um, yeah, like I said, photogrammetry, get into it before everybody else does it. Uh, it is kind of the future. I mean, if we look at the uh, Megascans library, there's a reason why roughly 20,000 assets are in this library. People are using them and there is demand for more. So get into it while you can. If you're a studio, if you want to learn photogrammetry, reach out to me. Um, yeah, have a nice day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.